Welcome to Infocom 2012, welcome to the Midas booth and welcome to the new Midas Pro 1 console. This is the latest digital mixer from Midas and it's a first fully standalone product in that we have 24 inputs and 24 outputs actually on the back of the console. So although it does work with all of the other Midas digital I.O. boxes, you can use this as a standalone mixer. So what have we got on the control surface? First of all, we have the same daylight viewable TFT screen as we use on the XL8, Pro 6, Pro 9 and Pro 2. So even if we were to take the console outside on this wonderful sunny Las Vegas day, you would still be able to see all of the information on the screen in full sunlight. Two banks of faders. The left hand bank by default are input faders. The right hand bank by default are my eight VCA groups. However, the eight VCA groups can also be my AUX Send Masters by selecting which bank I want these faders to address at any time. They can also be my Matrix Masters and they can also be my left, right and mono output masters. So very quick and easy to navigate between the banks of input faders. Uh, we can scroll through our 48 inputs or much more easily we can use our VCA centric navigation to find the channels which we need. For example, if I need to do something to one of the keyboard channels, instead of trying to think which input the keyboard's in, which layer that channel's on, all I have to do is select the keyboard VCA and the console immediately goes and finds the keyboard channels for me. Now I need to do something to one of the TomTom -tom channels, select the drum kit VCA, that brings me up my TomTom -tom channels, my backing vocals, my effects returns. So it's very, very quick and easy to find the channel which you need to. Now my VCA faders, as well as being VCAs, can also be eight additional input faders. So by, if I hit the extend button on the VCA bank, that then turns my VCAs into an additional eight inputs. So I now have 16 input channels on the surface. So now if I have any uh, population groups which contain more than eight members, I now have 16 inputs and I can navigate between my drum kit my band channels, my vocal channels, and my effects returns. So again, no thinking in terms of input numbers, layers, or pages. One click, and you're at the channel that you need. The Pro 1 is permanently in fader flip mode. So if I select any of the AUX sends, the faders then flip to become the contributions to the selected output. If I select any of the sends which are assigned to any of the internal graphic EQs, I can also bring up the graphic EQ output on the VCA faders. So now I can scroll through my Clark Technic DN370 graphic EQ and use the VCA faders to address the graphic EQ on the output. Once I've got the input I want on the surface, I select the input, I get visual support for the channel here, I can then go to the processing area I want and then address the EQ the dynamics processing or the MyCam functions. Once I'm working on the zoomed in view, that then turns on the control surface's touch sensing. So now if I touch any of the controls, the screen gives me immediate visual support for the control which I'm touching. So I don't have to go to a touch screen, select a function and then go to the strip. I just touch the strip and I get immediate visual support for the area which I'm poking at. 40 input channels, 27 mix buses, so I can actually do a 24-way monitor mix from this very, very small console. And because we're using an entirely new all-aluminium frame, the console weighs only 21 and a half kilograms. So it's a very easy lift, it's a very easy one-man carry into the venue. We're actually gearing up for production right now, so we should be shipping these consoles, they should be available uh, very beginning of August.